So for this video, we are going to talk about an additional example of Voronoi diagram. So this film is called incremental algorithm. So the basic idea for this algorithm that is assume that in the original Voronoi diagram, we have a certain number of Voronoi cells included. And then suddenly we are going to have an additional cell into the same diagram. Then what would happen? What would be the change for the boundaries or the changes of the points of intersections of the boundaries? So we may have a look at this example together. At the beginning, we have a Voronoi diagram of two points A and B. So the coordinates of A would be 2 and 8. The coordinates of B would be 2 and 4. And the idea of this question, that is, originally we got two different points and later we are going to have an additional point. So the additional point means there would be some extra boundaries included in this Voronoi diagram. So let's try to have a look at the part A together, that is, writing down the equation of the boundary separating the Voronoi cells of A and B. So before we try to answer the part A, we can try to have a look at the corresponding diagram. As we are given that the coordinates of the point A will be 2, 8 and B will be 2, 4, we can see that A is vertically above the point B for 4 units. As we know that the boundaries in a Voronoi diagram would be the perpendicular bisector of two adjacent sides. That means for this one, we have two different sides A and B, and we are going to look at the corresponding perpendicular bisector. And from this diagram, we know that AB would be a vertical line, and when we are going to construct a perpendicular bisector, this perpendicular bisector must be horizontal. And secondly, it must be a bisector, which means the bisector will pass through the midpoint of AB. By considering this diagram, we may have the midpoint located at 2, 6. And you can see that the y coordinate of this midpoint would be 6. And the corresponding perpendicular bisector would be a horizontal line passing through the point 2, 6. Then for the equation of a horizontal line, the format must be y equals to a number. And that number would be the y coordinate of any point on the straight line. So in this situation, we may have y equals to the y coordinate of the midpoint which means y equals to 6. And then we can try to have a look at the next statement. That is, we have a new point C, and the coordinates will be 8 and 6. Added to this Voronoi diagram, where L is the boundary separating the Voronoi cells of B and C. And we are given that the gradient is equal to negative 3. So let's try to look at the corresponding diagram again. So this is the basic idea of the straight line L, which would be the boundary separating the Voronoi cells of B and C. It satisfies the characteristic like the gradient of this straight line L will be negative 3, and also it passes through the midpoint of BC, which would be 5, 5. And then after those two new boundaries have been inserted into this diagram, I have to amend the length of the original boundary separating the Voronoi cells of A and B. So that this would be the result of the incremental algorithm. So let's try to have a look at the part B1, that is to write down the coordinates of the midpoint of BC. So as we are given the coordinates of the points B24 and C86, then we can try to apply this midpoint formula, that is the average of X coordinates and then the average of the y coordinates, that would be the new coordinates of the midpoint. So we can try to consider the values of x1 and x2, uh, 2 and 8 respectively. We can consider y1 and y2 to be 4 and 6 respectively. So by replacing those variables by those four assigned values, we will have 5 and 5 to be the coordinates of the midpoint. Then in part b2, we are going to find the equation of L and present the answer in slope-intercept form. So in order to find the equation of a straight line, we must have two information, that is the coordinates of one of the fixed points on the straight line, and also the gradient of the corresponding straight line. As from the given information, we already have the gradient of this straight line, which will be negative 3. And also we can consider one of the fixed points of this straight line will be the midpoint of BC which would be 5 and 5. 
once we got all the information, we can try to use the formula y minus y1 equals to m bracket x minus x1, where m is negative 3 and x1, y1 would be 5 and 5. Then we may have y minus 5 equals to negative 3 times the bracket x minus 5. By expanding the right hand side, we have y minus 5 equals to negative 3x plus 15. Then finally, from the left hand side, we have negative 5. Moving this term to the right, it becomes plus 5. Then we will have y equals to negative 3x plus 20. And this is in the format y equals to mx plus c. And this would be my suggested answer. Finally, in part B3, we are going to find the coordinates of the intersection of the boundaries. We can try to have a look at the diagram again. So for the straight line L, the equation would be y equals to negative 3x plus 20. And we have another straight line y equals to 6, which would be the original boundary separating the Voronoi cells of A and B. And we can see that the point of intersection would lie on the straight line y equals to 6, as we all know that all the points lying on this horizontal line must have the same y coordinate 6. Then, for this point of intersection, we already know that the corresponding y coordinate must be equal to 6. That means we just need to consider the corresponding value of x by solving the system of equations of those two straight lines. What I mean by solving the system of equations, that is, to consider the equations of those two straight lines, y equals to 6 and y equals to negative 3x plus 20. And from this system, we can see that the left-hand sides are equivalent, which are equal to y. Then we can try to equate the right-hand sides. That is, we have 6 equals to negative 3x plus 20. We can start from solving this linear equation by making x to be the subject. Firstly, we can try to move the negative 3x to the left-hand side, such that it becomes 3x. And then move 6 to the right-hand side, such that the right-hand side becomes 20 minus 6, becoming 14. And finally, 3x equals to 14, that means x would be 14 over 3. As we know that the original y coordinate of this point of intersection would be 6, then we can make the conclusion that is the required coordinates of this point of intersection would be 14 over 3 and 6.